as the title of this video says, in my opinion, this is one of the most underrated movie currently for the year 2022. Everything, everywhere, all at once. There will be no spoilers in this video, so you are safe. Let's get started. To start things off, I genuinely don't know how to articulate the emotions of Todd well, especially for this kind of movie. It is one of those kind of movie that you just have to watch it and enjoy the moment and every bit of it. You won't even have time to analyze as it was so captivating and kept me watching through all the way. This is one of the very few films that had so many chances to force certain belief or ideology but it didn't. It actually all relates to the story and is very smooth. The whole movie fits everything so well unlike some other movie that felt kind of forced. Not gonna name anything but here are some pictures. Uh, yeah. It looks complicated, but the meaning is actually very simple to grasp. I have no words to really articulate it in a way I don't spoil it, but the storytelling is so good. To be honest, I felt like the directors kind of smoked something or asked Seth Rogen for some rough ideas, but the key difference is that they kept the energy and climax all the way through the second half somehow. It's not like a roller coaster of emotions where it goes up and down. It's more like a building up to the climax and keeping the same energy and emotion to the ending. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. This movie is actually generally good for all ages. For me, preferably anyone above 15, I would say you would get the meaning behind of it 90% of the time at least. And all ages can somehow relate to the messages behind the movie and yeah it also gives you a sense of existentialism which is i don't know how some may take it differently but generally it's good to ponder about these kind of things once in a while there's some adult jokes here and there and some may think it's kind of mid i'll take it i would say it's a masterpiece in terms of how they formulate the story and kept the emotions true while dealing with a shit ton of other universes and correlating it with the main universe. Actors were good, everything else from sound, jokes and etc. You can say it is at worst an average. Overall, it is a solid 8 out of 10 for me. Last but not least, like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.